We have a pretty spectacular new location for the racing in Dubai sale, which is actually the first one we've had in April for two years. 40 lots in the catalogue, all of them have beautiful pedigrees. We've got a half-brother to Blue Point in there and a half-brother to the recent Godolphin Mile winner, Secret Ambition, himself a graduate of that sale. It seems to be pretty busy. I reckon we could see some pretty strong bidding. Maybe the pretty new location helped, as the buyers were out in force in complete contrast to the previous day's horses in training sale. We got an early indication as to the strength of the evening's trade when Lot 1, Ode to Duty, a four-year-old and race Dubawi gelding out of Group 1 winner Odalids, sold for 350,000 dirhams to trainer Ahmed bin Harmash. He was one of six horses to reach the 300,000 dirham mark, including top lot first winter. The winner of two of his seven starts for Charlie Appleby, the four-year-old son of Dubawi seemed to be in the ring for ages, but it was again Bin Harmash who secured the winning bid for 500,000 dirhams. Ahmed also bought recent runner King Leo, lot 11, the chestnut son of the last lion going for 240,000. Unraced horses proved popular, Mohammed Omran al Karati going to 160,000 to secure Brontology, a three-year-old Dubawi gelding out of Yorkshire Oaks winner Placecock. Later on, Pomologist, another Dubawi three-year-old, was knocked down to Bin Harmash for 200,000. And he also went to 130,000 for No Nay Never Gelding Island Rule, another yet to race. Owner In Hamid Najem has had a big win at this sale in the past with North America, and he signed the docket at 210,000 for Peace Vale, an unraised three-year-old son of Shamadal, as well as paying 130,000 for See the Stars Gelding Lupion another yet to grace the track. Owners Al Rashid Racing have been hugely successful in Dubai so far, and their gold silks will be carried by five graduates from the sale. They include unraced pioneer of the Nile gelding Taharqua, who went for 350,000, while they also splashed out 300,000 on the 69-rated golden horn gelding Bosphorus, and another 350,000 on Royal Touch, a Dubawi half-brother to Group 1 winner Far. After an excellent racing season, owner-trainer Rashid Borsley was keen to reinvest and he picked up eight horses to further strengthen the Orange Army. They included the sales only American Pharaoh, unraced four-year-old gelding Confidential Act, who cost 240,000, as well as three-time winner Boccaccio for 180,000 and the 100-rated Lord Tennyson for 70,000. Rashid also forked out 170,000 for Gallagher, an unraced three-year-old son of Oasis Dream. Sayed Ashish and partners the Rafai family remained some of UAE Racing's most enthusiastic owners, and they went for one of the sale's nicest pedigrees, going to 80,000 for Lot 25, Desert Destination, while 65,000 was all that was required to secure Golden Horn Colt Jacksonville. It was agent RJ Ane and trainer Halal Alalawi who swooped for the night's second top lot, going to 420,000 for Never Alone, who is a Dabawi half-brother to 1,000 guineas winner Legatissimo. At the other end of the spectrum, 70,000 was all that was needed to take home Secret Ambition's half-brother underwater attack. That honour going to owner Abdullah bin Tuk Al Madri. At close of play, all 40 lots sold for 5,515,000, an average of just under 138,000 per horse. A good night's work then, for multilingual auctioneer John O'Kelly and for six-time UAE champion trainer Satish Shima, who will welcome around 12 new horses through the gates at Zabil Stables. As you know, we talk every year and uh, it's one of my favorite places uh, to buy horses. Um, I tell my clients right off the bat, you're, you're 25, 30%, uh, you get a discount. The horse is already flown in the country, quarantine done, uh, the top pedigrees, Yes, uh, they may not be perfect in many ways, but uh, you can't beat these pedigrees. So, and we've, especially at uh, Team Zabil, we've had uh, amazing uh, results uh, from the first sale onwards. And uh, we still, we are still doing well, and uh, we've brought horses from Maiden to the Dubai World Cup Day a few times, and of course, many, many times in the carnival, etc. So yes, it's a great sale for the local population, who love horses and horse racing. Easiest way, this, uh, this, just today, 
a gentleman who first bought his first horse and uh, he works for the Mars program and uh, it's you know it's nice to get people from different uh, parts of uh, you know different different uh, aspects of uh, businesses etc and that's always been my objective to encourage people from all walks of life and um, especially this sale I think we've got so many new new people involved which is only good thing and um, uh, we'll keep going and um, like I said there's some good pedigrees although I find this year is the first year we do we do have some more grass pedigrees and um, so I would definitely request the Dubai Racing Club to make some grass racing for our clients and to keep them all happy and encourage them for future. With trade so strong, it's possible that a few budding owners might have missed out. Never fear, the Godolphin team are likely to send over another bunch of horses in September.